Greetings everyone, this is EXPHP, and I have an announcement to make. I have just completed the seventh map in Vex's Super Hostile series, Legendary. This is my complete victory monument. Thank you, thank you. And I decided that I would record a video to show all the cool and horrifyingly ugly stuff I made. Because otherwise, some of the stuff I did was kind of a waste of my time, as you will see. But we're going to be starting with the early stuff. So hang on while I pause recording and go there. Now, as the lovely title card I may have edited in has told you, this is Humble Start. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to put the title card in here. Before you is a... <laughs> Live recording! Before you is a tree farm. Before you is what used to be the SMP water pillar. Which, by the way, this was all source blocks. <laughs> as I uh, discovered the hard way, so, um... <laughs> uh, that was not fun to remove. And what will soon be before you is the most horrifying building you will ever see. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's show this first, because this is the very first thing I did in this map. I punched through this wall and was like no harvestable blocks yet to place I'ma make a wall farm so this was the very first thing I made in here spider string wall farm which I used to get a lot of wool to place all over the place so that I actually had blocks. Which actually, I'm not sure if that's cheating or not, it might be. I know you're allowed to make spider wool for beds and paintings. I'm not sure if you're allowed to place it as a block though. So who knows, maybe I cheated by accident. Uh. Righto, I didn't do anything interesting here. Um, but as I indicated earlier, there is a very horrifying sight coming up. Uh, I was low on resources, to say the least. But I did not like all of the mobs. Well, you see, see, look up there. There's a lot of bad up there, okay? There's a lot of walls with ledges that places that mobs can spawn, and I didn't like that. So... That was close. I built... Uh, can't get a good viewing angle. Well, you're not going to get a good viewing angle, but it's hideous. <coughs> Sorry for coughing into your ear. <laughs> um, it's not easy to navigate either, but... I just hated those walls so much that... I said, screw it. Here's my first home. I took most of the stuff out. I have. I don't know why I have cobwebs here. My first bed, this cave, wood planks everywhere. Cover up all the holes. And intersection one. Put this here because I kept getting lost. And this is my way down to the bottom which takes too long so we're not gonna do it all right floating
throwing shards. I was hoping this video could fit in 10 minutes. Think I can do it? Got five minutes left. I'm currently on the second place. <laughs> Out of 17. No, wait, 18. 23 if you count the intersections. Now, see, I don't like falling. I if this gives you in any indication of my attitude towards places where you can fall. Alright, see, uh... My method is safety rails abound. Wow, oh, it's been so long since I've been here. Again, <laughs> low on resources. I'm sorry my place is too ugly for the YouTubes. Alright. Uh, this is my... This is my... Uh, first house here, which I removed the bed, I removed all the chests, and I moved up just one level, up to probably the first nice looking building. Here's my tree farm for this building. I know, it's... it's just overwhelming. We've got chests here. I took most of the good stuff out. And that's actually why I built the safety rails. I waited until the very end of this area before just going down there, building safety rails everywhere just so I could move items out of these chests. Free bones. I want some free bones. In hindsight, I could have used this thing a lot more than I actually did. Because I did r have a shortage of bones several times. There's a skeleton spawner in here. Yeah, we're not going to get any bones right now. There, y you saw my skeleton spawner. That's all you need to see. How do I get out of here? <clears throat> right, um... See you in Castle Assetti, I guess. <laughs> While I figure my way out. I'd like to take this opportunity to point out that even during recording, I am still playing on hard, and a creeper just blew up part of my walkway. Good times, good times. I'm having a blast. In fact, I just had a real big, loud, annoying blast that destroyed a lot of stuff, so just letting you know. Two small things of note here. Uh, the bizarre structure in front of you is what was going to be a mob faucet because I thought that there were mobs up here behind these stone slabs and I thought that if I built something that I could let them pour out into where I could punch their feet I could get a whole ton of monster stuff um... it didn't quite work out that way because it turns out the walkway is not that close if, from what I remember well I don't know Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're not actually able to walk up next to it. And um this is also the very last wool I got. You can probably guess why. I did not want to take on this place on foot. I waited for those buckets. And then when I finally got those buckets, I was like, 
I want to do the nether. Anyways, um, ooh, that's, uh, I'm giving away spoilers already, um, forget I ever mentioned the nether, okay? Just forget it. Anyways, um, yeah. I feel like I should have paused recording. Hindsight's 2020, you know. Could also probably edit it out. But I won't. For, for comedy purposes. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna see if I can get this up to render distance short without causing a uh, nuclear explosion. We are going to my vi well, my second base, I guess. But my first really big base. And it almost was my permanent base until, um, until I, well, my third base ended up being my permanent base, but, uh, this I used for a very long time. I used this up to intersection three. Yeah. And, um, I've taken pretty much everything out of here. I, I just basically moved to base number three. There's almost nothing in here of note. This is where I learned how much of a bastard Vex was. And this is where I learned how much of a bastard Vex can be when I'm not even around. <laughs> this happened... I don't know when. I just walked out of my house one day in giant freaking hole. Similar story over here. <laughs> I just walked out one day, giant freaking hole, and lava. <laughs> eh. I never did, uh, fix these bridges. There's one other thing of note here. And we shall get there by minecart and ladders. Oh yeah! Ta-da! That's not what I was gonna show. And away we go! Well, we are now going towards a temporary home I had for about uh, three days as I tried to figure out how to get back. And eventually I just started gathering wood and made this. Whee! Oh, I'm feeling a lot of lag. If there is a major audio desync in this video, I apologize. I don't know what to do about it. <laughs> it takes me forever to fix it, so, um... If I'm narrating things that happened a good 15 seconds ago, I apologize! And I don't care. Because I want this video to get out, or else all those things I made are worthless. Uh, th that's my weed farm. See, see, now I'm narrating stuff about 15 seconds behind, because I'm too distracted talking. Oh, I should probably show this, too. No, 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 no! <clears throat> now, not every day you have to uh, deal with a runaway minecart. Well, it's
it is for me, but I'm assuming it's not for you. I shouldn't. Come on. Come on. Why are we so laggy? Am I in render distance short or something? This doesn't look like short, this looks like tiny. Anyways. Look around. Tell me what you see. Here's a hint. I used a lot of flint and tinder. Thank you, thank you, I'm quite proud of it myself. I wasted an entire day doing that. I'm very proud of myself. I have no life. We are now on our way to Intersection 2. Now arriving at Intersection 2. Do do do. NBC cares. Pain water. Not much to show here. Um, I went through it normally. This place is actually quite easy. You just equip on some leather armor, and you can survive a good ten or so hits from the lava. B double O and good pussies. No, okay, no, not really. Uh, on SMP, it's a whole different story. On SSP, you are able to go through this quite easily without getting hit by lava that you are not touching. You know, the controls actually work on single player. So, uh, grats to B00 and Good for figuring out how to get through this on SMP. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go watch their videos. It's... they're awesome. And I am being shot at! Make your presence known, why don't you? Castle NVIDIA. <coughs> of course, this is also around the point where you might start accusing me of stealing from <laughs> B00 and Good. I assure you, I did, I did this part before I even heard of their series. All right. At that, at, at this point, I hadn't even rot, watched the race for the wolves. That's basically where I found out a freaking slime. Right, anyways, we are getting off topic. Now, this is not the part you might accuse me of copying them. Uh, but I do have a zigzag staircase. Yeah. If I could get up it, that would be awesome. And I basically have uh, balconies every two flights, or, or no, you know, it's it's every flight. Uh, it's halfway. Yes, it's, it's on the fifth step of each flight. And what I did was I just kept going up, building balconies, checking my height against this. And eventually, I just found the right level to build out, and I tackled it from the top down. See you in West Commons. Wait, West Commons? No, no, uh... Caves of Confusion, yes! Here we are at the Caves of Confusion. T underscore T. This is my home. Whoa. I never cleaned house here. And this is my home! The, 
the strategy I took to this place was essentially section everything off and get rid of all the crevices where things can spawn. I spent way more time on this than I should have. But you know what? I think it looks very nice. I mean, come on. Was it a complete waste of time? Was it? The, okay, maybe some th things here were. I'll tell you what this place was, it was a complete waste of wood. All those cobwebs. I went through swords like crazy. Here's another absolutely magnificent tree farm. <laughs> With an entire two bone meal. Uh, and let's see if I can figure out... It's been a while since I went through here. Yep. Ooh. Ow. Uh, <laughs> here you can see more wool used as building blocks. <laughs> Sorry, Vex, I don't know if I cheated. Make your rules more clear. Um, there's a shortcut out. There's nothing more interesting in here to show. So, I'll see you at wherever I'll see you next. I want to show you Home of Victory so bad, but we're going to start with Starbright Cavern. You'll see why I want to show you Home of Victory. Y you'll see. Trust me. I lit this place up like a Christmas tree. And that's all t there is to show of Starbright Cavern. I know, incredible place. By the way, there's there's mushrooms here. Spoiler. There's also lag. If you did not find the mushrooms here, shame on you. There's also mushrooms in the Caves of Confusion. If you did not find those, shame on you. Lag, lag, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, Oma Victory. Uh. Hey, there we go. Oh man, but let me tell you, it is going to... <laughs> if, if you thought the lag was bad there... Which I don't know if you did. I thought the lag was bad there, but, um, nah. <laughs> that was nothing. It because, um, well, you know, uh, uh, glowstone kind of causes a lot of lag. Alright! <laughs> uh, here is the reason. <laughs> basically why I wanted to make this YouTube video because otherwise this is so pointless this is what I do in my free time folks I make giant places in SSP that uh, nobody else ever sees and, and then I just weep in my sorrow all lonely I'm so lonely uh, we've got food here uh, th this is divided into four sections. The first section is equipment. So we've got swords, light, tools, including TNT, precious diamond and iron stuff, 
And oh, I I never finished the walls for this. I never decided what the walls are going to be. You see, I have different walls in all these different places. This right here is the tool crafting station. You've got wooden sticks. Could use a little more wood there. Cobblestone. <laughs> the, there used to be a lot more in here. <laughs> You'll see where it all went. You'll see. Leather. Metals. <coughs> Try not to cough in your ears. Here's my bedroom that I made for the sole purposes of this recording. No other reason. This... Well, we'll get back here, because... This is my block repository. There used to be a lot more sandstone here. There, there used to be a double chest full of it, and it overflowed into my general overflow area. You'll see where that all went to. Trust me. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Again, no stone. It all went somewhere. Dirt, stuff, you get the idea. Railroad parts, along with a Perpetual motion cart. Hooray. I don't know why I made this. My number one source of food. In all its glory. Oh, wait. Oh, right. Yeah, Buckle Water for Easy Collection. I never did use that. Huh. And this is general rewards. Just, you know, this is the kind of stuff that Vex puts in the treasure chests all over the map. And most of it I don't even have a use for. But I did eventually come back here every once in a while to get some ladders or some stuff. I built this up here for general storage in case all those chests got filled up, but they never did. Here's a bedroom I never used. Uh, general storage chests I never used. What else is there here? Oh, right. Uh, my very first ever cobble generator. It was horribly inefficient. <laughs> so inefficient in fact that I just gave up my mind out the bottom and was like I'll just do this um I found another source of stone later you'll be seeing that very shortly oh one more thing here the arboreum Again, I don't know why I did this. I, I also put six double chests here. I was planning for the future. I was like, you know, if I ever get so much wood that it fills up a double chest, I, I better have, you know, I just better plan ahead. <laughs> I never filled up even a single chest's worth. I never did anything to the tree farm. I never did anything to the wheat farm. Aside from use it, I I did actually use the, the, the pathetic wood farm and wheat farm here. Well, no, not pathetic, but... Uh, most people would have done something more grand, and I am lagging like heck. Jeez, I'm coughing in everyone's ear today. Going to the desert.